Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Gungeon with me, Rob Lol. Today, um, I thought we'd tr give it another try. You know, um, I really enjoy this game, and I wanted to play more of it. I have had one or two games in between the last session, so let's see how it goes. Well, a bit more than one or two, I think. But uh, let's try the pilot this time. So the pilot kind of looks like he's based on um, Finian from Firefly. Uh, let's have a look what he starts with. What does he start with? He starts with underhanded and efficient. It's a semi-automatic infinite ammo standard gun that you start with. Uh, he also gets a lockpick. Chance to pick locks can be used once per lock. These lockpicks never let the pilot down, except for the many times when they did. We also get reduces prices at shops, which is great, and extra space, so we can carry an extra item. So anyway, let's go into the gungeon. And see if I can do better than last time. Last time I managed to kill the first boss. If I can at least get that far again, then I'll be happy. So that's pretty much my goal. Is just kill the first boss again. And don't whiff completely. Okay, so we got a couple of guys here. These... Um, those little bat guys are... Kind of annoying. Because they suddenly just decide that they want to rush you. Uh, the slimes are also a little bit weird. I wonder if these guys all have, like, names. Can I actually see, like, enemies? Oh, you can. Shit. Okay. Uh, you can see the bosses you've unlocked as well. Okay. So they all actually have, like, proper names and things. The Bullet Chronicler. A Bat Shell. A Bat Bullet. A Ghost. Uh, sorry, a Grenade. Uh, ah, a Bat Grenade and a Bat Ghost. This is the Dark Knight. No accident. <laughs> what are these assholes called? Daughter of Slaughter. Those are the worst. Oh man, I hate those. Um, what else is like really annoying? These guys. Non-issue. And in a taze. Like, it says non-issue. But uh, it's really a pain in the ass. Okay, so you can actually... Like, you can see the bosses already... You can see everything already. I didn't actually realize that this was here as well. I just thought, because I saw the tabs earlier when we had a look um, at what uh, the pilot starts with. So there's bad bullets, um, a blast of bullets, which is the Bullet King. Oh, man. Okay, and then like a whole bunch of guns that I have unlocked and the ones that I've actually seen, which are not that many to be fair. Uh, all the different types of usable items and passives I think that you can get. Oh man, and that's what you currently have. Okay, so I didn't realize that that was there. I didn't know what to call a lot of these guys or whatever, but I guess they do have like proper names. I like this pistol as well. It's like laser uh, gun. I just wish it was a little bit more accurate. To be fair. Oh, shit. I thought I was going to roll into a bullet there. I think I, I saved myself a little bit. Um. <clears throat> but to be fair, uh, shop's right here already, what the hell? I mean, the accuracy of the gun is not that important. We can get a poison vial. I guess that's a usable, like, poison that you can throw on the floor. I'm just going on the assumption of, like, maybe it works like a lot of cocktail. Oh, uh, that R. I don't know. They shoot an N, an R, and, like, an O. The O, like, spreads out across the room. The N just comes at you all in, like, an N shape that circles around itself. Um, We've got one key, but this is a shitty chest. So let's try the lockpick. And it worked. Okay, awesome. And I have no idea what this is. C4 Sticky Boom. Okay. Well, let's try out the Sticky Boom. It's probably a one-use item as well, I think. And we can blow it up. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, so you can place it down. Oh, it's not a one-use item either. I can reuse it. You place it down. Try and get people to come towards you. That was a clutch dodge there. Holy shit. And then once they've come towards you, you blow up that grenade. I would, I mean, not the grenade, the C4. I would actually like to have a better weapon, to be honest. 
And you guys must tell me what you think about this game. Do you think it's something that I should be playing more often? Even if I do play it, I'd probably only put up a video on it like once a week or something. Because I've already got so many games that I want to play and Dark Souls 2 is coming out soon. And holy shit guys, the 12th, we, the channel would have been, well it would have had a year's worth of videos on it. It's a little bit older than a year because obviously I started it before I put videos on. But, it also, it's the day, oh shit, I actually got hit finally. It's the day Dark Souls 2 is coming out. So what I've decided for Dark Souls 2 is I'm going to play quite a... Oh, well, I'm going to put up fairly edited videos for Dark Souls 2. They may not be like my every moment of Dark Souls 2. Maybe just the best bits or shit. Or maybe even just like the area and the bosses like super simplified. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. I was supposed... I was going to play some Darkest Dungeon or XCOM today. Um, but... I actually haven't been feeling well today. I've been feeling shit, and I was actually contemplating uh, just straight up not recording. Yeah, eat fucking C4, you asshole. <laughs> I was contemplating just straight up not recording and maybe doing a vlog or something. But I figured, you know what? I started feeling a little bit better around like 2, 3 o'clock. Uh, so I got up, I ordered some pizza. Oh man. And it was like 10 degrees Celsius outside when I went to go fetch my pizza. I did not realize it had gotten so cold today. Oh, there's one of those bats. Look at them. They like, they pop or something and then come at you as like little bullets. Shit. I don't like these guys. What? I've had like three or four of these guys. Isn't it still the... We haven't even fought a boss yet. It's like still the first floor, man. Come on. Oh shit, bombs. At least they can, like, chain reaction each other, which is great. And these, like, those guys are inconsequential. Although, I saying that, I think that's one of the guys who shot me earlier. And I miss the accuracy of the Marine. The Marine has so much better accuracy. But having the lockpick is also great, because you can go to, like, shitty chests that you think might not have the best equipment in it and then just try and lockpick it rather than using a key and then you know you just do that little gamble little gamble should be fine let's just flip this we'll just hide behind this table there's like no cover in this room besides tables bam fuck your barrel oh my god no oh, i just destroyed my own cover how about... Fuck you. There we go. That is actually great. That C4 is amazing. <laughs> okay, um, this is a blue chest. I also don't know the order of the chests. I think brown chests are the worst, blue chests are better. And then you get like these massive red chests that I remember seeing. Or maybe blue chests are guns? Oh, the Moonscraper. I've had this once before already. It is pretty funny. But let me show you against the boss. Okay, so we've at least made it to the boss. If I can beat the boss, I will consider this episode a success. Oh man, it's the Gatling gun again. I was hoping to show you guys somebody else. Oh well, let's just skip this intro sequence. And we shall moon... What is it called? The moon raker? Moon scraper? Fuck. Look how big this room is. I think I hear him to the left. No, he's not to the left. Oh, he's... He's up. Oh, shit. I lost some life. Q is also a very... I need to, like, remap my keys, I think. Because Q is a very stupid key for... Oh, shit. Uh, you know, it's a very hard key if you want to move and then use a blank. Uh, yeah, I was like... He's definitely on the left this time. Okay, we need to roll better. I could probably... I was gonna say... Just put one of these down next to him. Bam. <laughs> Fuck you, asshole. Oh, man. I can't believe the Moonscraper is the only... Oh, shit. That's... 
That's bullshit. How did that bullet get around that corner? That just seemed wrong. Okay, well, we still beat him. We lost half of our life to him. But I, like, the layout of this room just screwed me over completely. I'm used to fighting him in a more open environment. Not that that's really an excuse. Uh, let's have a look. A grenade launcher. Oh my god. Yes, please. Uh, I'm gonna test it before I use it. Okay. I'm gonna use the moon scraper as my primary now. And I'll use the grenade launcher as a desperation weapon. And when the moon scrape is out of, in, uh, out of ammo, when, I was going to say when the moon scrape is out of enemies, but that'll never happen. There's always more enemies. And that, like, being able to... Uh, I think I lost my armor there as well. Being able to hit multiple enemies with this thing is amusing as well, but I mean, it's kind of hard to hit multiple enemies because you've got to angle yourself correctly. But you can also shoot people around corners. And, I mean, that's great. I played with the hunter as well a little bit. The hunter actually has like a pet. Yeah, like that. See, I can literally shoot around a corner, which is amazing. She has a little pet that like gets her extra items and stuff, which I thought was great. But I mean, she has some really hard to use weapons. Though. Uh, she has like a crossbow and a revolver. The revolver is pretty easy to use, but the crossbow, man, the crossbow is hard to use because you have to reload oh, shit that clutch dodge um you have to reload see those bullets they kind of go around the corner it's a little bit bullshit oh no come on you know what i think this is grenade launcher time because fuck this guy in particular oh, i dodged into a fucking bullet oh. okay there we go he's he's dead these are going to come towards me, but that's fine. Oh, oh come on. I was looking at... Uh, I thought they were all gone. I looked at the map. I looked at the map and they ran straight into it. Oh, shit. That is bullshit. That is bullshit. That is actually bullshit. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to escape. I'm going to try another character. And then let's just have a look. Um, let's try the convict. She gets a sword off shotgun. And she gets, uh, let me just show you guys. She gets, uh, the affordable arms, the budget revolver, which is infinite ammo, does not reveal secret walls. And then she also gets the sword off, no buts about it, semi-automatic. The shotgun is modified for easy concealment. Uh, she has the Molotov, which feel the burn. Molotov cocktails aren't guns. Um. And for some reason, I always read um, the subtext as the name. I think they they kind of screwed up the UI there a little bit. Because the name is at the top of the page, sure, and then the image. But the name, like, let me show you here quickly. The name is very, like, it blends into the page. And then affordable arms, like, really, like, these little, um, I guess it's like masking tape or painting tape or whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, it, it sticks out of the page. You don't really... I don't always read the name of the gun. I read the, the subtext, which is maybe a little bit wrong. She's also one of the two characters who start off with two guns. So, you get some variation. Oh, and she gets... Uh, yeah, I didn't actually show you guys that. She gets this thing as well. A photo of a convict brought with her to the gungeon. Uh, deal extra damage for a short time after getting hit. So, if you get hit, you get to do extra damage. And I figured, seeing as that first run was a little bit short, we might as well just try again for another one. The sword of shotgun is pretty good, but its spread is quite bad if you want to shoot just one guy. Uh, I had to reload there. See, if, like that for example, I was standing right on top of him. It did a fair amount of damage. And these guys, you see... I couldn't kill all of them with one shot. The bastards. Let's get... Can we get rid of these paintings? No. Okay, here we go. The sword of shotgun is maybe not the best weapon for this kind of room. But it seems to have done pretty well. I also don't like these little bench things. Because I always think I can't walk through them. And then it's so simple. So simple to walk through. 
Okay, how about you die? Oh, come on, that's not fair. How was I supposed to get around that corner? That's bullshit. Fuck your cheese. Fuck your cheese, man. Uh, I thought I was gonna take at least like two hits here. I can't believe I've taken two hits already. That's so bad. That is so bad. Anyway, fuck this guy. Let's switch back to the revolver. I actually think in a lot of these situations, the revolver is just a better weapon. Um, yeah, I guess we don't have to fast travel here. I was like, I wonder where the closest room is. Let's get rid of these assholes first. Uh, slimes, please, just go away. I don't love you. Nobody loves you. It's actually maybe a good use of the shotgun here. There we go. That actually turned out quite well. Sometimes the spread of the shotgun just screws me completely. You know what? What the shit is this? Oh, I did not mean to use my Malato cocktail. Shadow bullets, double tap. What does that do? What does it do? Fires additional projectiles. Okay. Is it a... It's not a usable item, so I'm guessing... Oh, there we go. It adds like an extra bullet. So I shoot, and then sometimes, I guess, there'll be a random bullet behind that bullet. I don't know, maybe it's not... Yeah, you see there, sometimes I shoot a little blue bullet as an extra effect. But, oh well. Uh, let's go. You know what? Fuck it. This looks like shotgun territory. When there's like a whole bunch of enemies like that bunched up, I would have liked to use the Molotov. But unfortunately, I completely wasted it earlier in a place where it would never have been useful. Oh, fuck. I just walked straight into that. I was like backing up into the table. That screwed me. Okay, grenades, you can just fuck right off. Thank you. Thank you for fucking right off. Okay, is he dead? He's dead. I think that's it. No, there's still this guy over here. Come on, just die. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Um, I can't leave the room yet. There is still somebody alive here somewhere. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Arrow. And we get a key. Great. Let's move on. Where are we going? We'll get rid of these guys before they manage to shoot. Because they're fine. Uh, but they do shoot a hell of a lot. And I think we found our store here. So there's the N that I was talking about. These guys shoot N's and R's and O's. And all sorts. See, if you focus fire with a revolver, I actually think it's a lot better than the sword off. But I guess it's situational, man. Like a lot of these weapons. They're just... Very situational. You know what? We might as well get the chest. What is this? The Phoenix. Reborn in the flame. Let's see, what does it say about the Phoenix? The muzzle flare from this uh, fiery handgun can ignite enemies, return enemies to dust. How many shots do I get with it? I get 350. So I'm going to use it as like my primary then. Because it's got quite a lot of shots. Yeah, you know what? Got more shots than the sword off, that's for sure. Uh, so we might as well just give it a try. Oh, I see. Just the muzzle flare lights enemies on fire. So if I want to use the fire capabilities, I have to be fairly close. Like, really close. Okay. Well, that's fair enough, I guess. Uh, store. Got a key. We got a cult. Oh man, I would like to buy the cult. I just don't have the money. I don't even have money for a heart. Uh, should we buy ammo? Uh, you know what? I can't afford anything. So let's just... <gasps> Excuse me. Get out of here. I got the hiccups. I think I ate too much pizza. The pizza is so good, man. If you have the opportunity, go now. Go now and buy pizza. Uh, okay, I guess... What are we fighting? The twins? 
whatever they're called. And I think we'll... I'll use the Phoenix. Just because it looks so cool. i got to remember that I can queue. But, you know what, I think I'm circling around the wrong way. My fingers on... to get to queue easily. Uh, let's queue there. I'm being shot from too many angles here. Like, the dodges would be difficult to make. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, lots of... Fuck you. I keep forgetting about that. Oh, no, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. This is just gonna end badly. At least I managed to kill one boss. I can... I can... Go with the solace in my heart that I managed to kill one boss. Guys. <laughs> Uh, I'm not good at these kinds of games. Anyway, I'm going to call it there for today. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like my videos, give me a like, give me a subscribe. And uh, yeah, tomorrow we'll get back with Darkest Dungeon or XCOM, depending on how I feel tomorrow. And how I look at, or I'll go look at the YouTube channel and see where we are and which one. So anyway, until next time. Cheers, guys.